Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today, we're gonna head into the Sea Shrine for the first time. I've gotten Lightning 2 and Fast for my ninja here, and they're not really that important to have, it's just nice to be able to do something with the spell charges once you start getting them. Uh, my setup really hasn't changed that much, weapon and armor wise. But I do have uh, pro rings for everybody, those are important. I gave the Zeus Gauntlet to the Red Mage because she does not know Lightning 2. Alright, let's go help him. Well, there's actually uh, two facets to the Sea Shrine. Unlike most dungeons, you actually start on the third floor, not the bottom floor or the top floor. Um, there are two staircases uh, in this area, one of them to the left, one of them to the right. Uh, this is a new enemy, the Sea Snake. Almost every enemy here is weak to lightning, so make use of that Zeus Gauntlet. Uh, lightning 3 is your panic button, but Lightning 2 should take care of most of the enemies here. These guys don't poison you. Thankfully. The enemies around here do have a lot of HP. Uh, every enemy here, except lobsters and ghosts, have over 200 HP. You can run into large groups of uh, sea snakes here, up to six, I believe. The experience in gold around here is great. So with that Zeus Gauntlet and Lightning 2 spells, uh, farming gold here isn't a bad idea if you're short, but you'll find plenty of treasure here. There really is no reason for the holder of your Zeus Gauntlet to use anything other than it, really, because... The Zeus, because so many enemies here are weak to lightning, the Zeus Gauntlet is just so much better than any physical attack any of your characters will ever get. Now the, the stairs that take us up to the mermaids are on uh, the right side. There's another staircase on the left that will take you down to uh, the lower areas of the shrine. And here's a new enemy, the Water Elemental. Uh, these guys are unusual in that they are not weak to lightning, they're actually weak to ice. I don't know why, but they're weak to ice for some reason. And I don't have ice 3, so lightning 3 is probably my best bet, because it'll, it'll uh, do more damage. If you don't... I mean, ice 2 is okay, but... Just... Lightning 3 will do, or not, yeah, Lightning 3 does more damage to them than uh, Ice 2 on average. These guys have a lot of resistances, too. Uh, if you have, if you have purchased the Break spell... Oh, oh wait, no. Oh wait, no, sorry. I was just looking at their HP count, but Water Elementals are immune to Break. They're immune to most instant death. They do get fantastic experience, though. Alright, we're back. I just needed to do a little bit of healing. There is treasure on this floor, though. Not a lot of it, but there is treasure. And here's another new enemy, the Sea Troll. They're like the Sea Snakes, except they have a little bit less HP and have a little bit stronger of a physical attack. They're pretty vanilla enemies. What we're gonna try to do for the treasure is go to the t is go to the get this one in the middle first, then go to the room in top, and pretty much just go counterclockwise. Unfortunately, the 
the treasure chest in the middle wasn't very good. There's uh, another new enemy here, the Wizard Sahajin. I don't understand why they're called Wizard Sahajin, because they can't cast any magic. They're just, well, more powerful Sahajin. Uh, I would recommend mopping up the Red Sahajin with uh, Lightning 2 and the Zeus Gauntlet. And depending on how lucky you get, you might even be able to take out the Wizard Sahajin with just that. But for the most part, if you run into a large group of enemies, Lightning 2 and the Zeus Gauntlet are the way to go. There we go, got them all. And we have another new enemy, the Gray Shark. They're like regular sharks that you ran into, except much more powerful. They also have a lot of HP, almost 350, so it's going to take quite a beating to take one down. See, all that absorb from the gold bracelets is really starting to pay dividends here. Because in the late game, a lot of enemies can deal over 100 damage with their physical attacks, and you want to have as much absorb as possible. That 20 gold chest in the middle is really the only whoopee cushion. In this chest, we get the opal armor. I, I'm a fan of this piece of equipment in future translations of the game. But not in this one. Uh, here's another new enemy, Ghosts. These are, uh, I believe, the only enemy in the Sea Shrine that is actually weak to fire. Um, they're really hard hit. The, these guys actually hit harder physically than most bosses do. As a matter of fact, I think the only, the, the only enemies that hit harder than this guy are uh, a couple bosses towards the end of the game. Uh, these guys have a damage rating of 93, but I don't believe they can paralyze you with their physical attacks. They just hit extremely hard. They give good experience, though. More spell charges for the Red Mage. Uh, the reason why I don't why I don't like the Opal Armor in this version of the game is because having elemental protections is just so much better. And in this chest, we get the Light Axe, which, when used as an item in battle, casts Harm too. Pretty useful if you don't have a White Mage. And in here, we get the Mage Staff. This item, when you in battle, will cast uh, Fire too. The important thing about these items is that they're both weapons, so they don't take up valuable armor slots. And in this chest, we get a whole bunch of gold. Alright, this is the floor that the mermaids are on. No encounters here, thankfully. There's a lot of information to be gathered here. Yes, we're gonna save we're gonna save you. Just give us some time and some treasure. Oh that's that's so sad. So, we have to regain the power of water, but we're going to do that on our next trip here. Lots of gold and the opal bracelet, which, very strangely, is worse than the gold bracelet. I don't know why. Huh, Daryl. They like using that name in uh, future Final Fantasy games. I don't know why. But that name is used quite a bit. Oxyal Button! I wasn't kidding when I said there's a lot of treasure up here. We're working on it. 
We came here first because there's important things up here. Of course we're the legendary heroes. Ah, the Fiend of Water Kraken. That's uh, why I didn't go to the bottom floor first, because I wanted to come up here and get all this treasure. Pure Potion, not really that useful anymore. Now, this is a very useful piece of information. Uh, in order to get into the Mirage Tower, you're going to need to find some sort of magical instrument. Yeah, we know, some of the other... Some of the others have told us about the Kraken. And we get the Opal Shield. I don't really care for the Opal Shield in this version of the game because the elemental defensive or the elemental defensive properties are just so much better. Five thousand gold. Not too bad. But how do we get to that room in the uh, upper corner? There's uh there's a treasure room over over here that I that doesn't look like it's accessible. Whoopee cushion chests. Eh. Yeah, you can't win at everything. We got a bunch of gold. We got over thirty thousand gold just from these treasure rooms alone. Oh, it's one more over. Yeah, the the, the devs kind of pull a dirty trick here. This room loops upon itself. So there's a bridge to the opposite side of the of the sea shrine that you can, or the this particular floor of the sea shrine rather, that you can get to the opposite uh, treasure chest. And we get an opal helmet. Oh, oh, we got to get rid of something. What am I not going to use? Eh, let's get rid of the opal shield. It doesn't sell for that much anyway. At least I don't think it does. Does something else sell for more, maybe? Oh, let's... I'm gonna have to change back to the, uh... Yeah. What do I do? Yeah, let's just get rid of that. And we get the Opal Gauntlet, which I'm just going to sell off. And we finally get the slab. Uh, this slab contains uh, a translation of uh, the, the uh, language of Lafine. So we're going uh, to give that to Dr. Oon sometime in the future. 